Hey everyone, Con here, and today we're back with another video on the Bay TV. Uh, my player ratings for uh, Colin Bay 1, Panamont 2. Uh, we're going to go through it, we're going to go try and do it a bit quicker because I want to get these videos a bit shorter and quicker. Um, but they've still got to edit them. And um, yeah, so basically, if you if you want to know what I thought of the match, go look at my match reaction. Uh, save you a lot of time. Um, basically, just to summarise it, I thought first half we were. Um, not great, nothing we could do up front, we conceded, um, so we won not down at half time, conceded early second half, it was 2-0, uh, and then uh, rest since since that second goal went in, I think we were the better side after that, and we got one very, very late on, um, too late on, in my opinion, so um, yeah, we lost 2-1. Um, in goal, we're going to start off with uh, Joe Smith, and obviously, as we do, um, we're going to start off with, with Joe, like I just said, we're, I'm giving Joe... Joe Smith a five. Um, people could argue lower because um, I don't think he had a great game. Um, but the the the, the um, second goal he was not made. Um, the first goal was I think a tap in uh, header nodded in uh, by Chris Venables if I'm not mistaken. So um, Joe Smith that's a five from me. We play with a four at the back and then it was a three at the back. We're gonna go four um, for this play ratings. Um, at the left left back, I think it was Sam Hart. Um, he gets a player rate, a match rating of six. Um, I think Sam he, he tried out there and he does that every week. You know he's disappointed to lose and he should be playing at left back. He's he's better player at left back, um, and you know that that's why he gets goals. You know if you if you think about it, the crosses come in. He's on the back post, nodding them in. That's why he got goals last season because he was playing at left back and. Um, I think we need to play. We need to see him at left back a lot, lot more, um, and it's good that we we see saw him against Penabon play there. And I give him a match rating of six because he did he did really well, or well, not really well, but he he was one of our better players. I thought on on, on the day, um, so Sam Hart six. In the left side of centre half role, I think we had Dan Davis there. So Dan Davis gets a five from me. Look, I can't really think of what Dan did well, but I can't think of what he did poorly. Um, I I think we've expected a little bit better from Dan since he came in. Um, I definitely I have I I have expected a bit higher because he's he's hit the Wrexham first team a few times, so you expected him to be a very very good player. Not seen that in him yet, but um, I've no doubt he in in the next few games he will pick up form and um, and hopefully we can we can stay up and he'll be part of the team that that, that stays in the Cumbria Prem. So Dan Davis gets a five from me. Next up is Harry Owen. Harry Owen again. I can't really think of much things he did well. There was a few things I think he did wrong. That was um, passes um, mainly. Um, that was when we played at three at the back. So I give Harry Owen a five, uh, due to the fact I think, like I just said, passes weren't um, great, and and obviously we played at three at the back, and maybe he's he's not used to playing with the three because obviously Alex went off uh, injured. Um, Half time, so we uh, move things around. Um, but yeah, Harry Gowing gets a five from me, and we've seen him have better, better games, uh, or better game um, against Ponty. Um, hopefully, he can have another another good game, um, like he did at Ponty, like he did against Ponty, um, against Abba. So Harry Owen, you get a five from me, but you know, still time, still time to come yet um, from the young lad. Next up is Alex Downs at right back. Alex Downs, look, he's only had forty five minutes, so I give him a rate match rating of six. Um, couldn't think of much he did right because when um, when he played, he was on the far side of the pitch, so it's harder to see um, how good Alex did. Um, so I can't really think of anything he did wrong or did well. Um, I'll tell you what, he might, he might have. I think he ran. And dry, uh, was driving really well, dribbling past everyone really well, like he usually does. So Alex Downs, six from me. Hopefully he's back very soon, because he's a massive loss, massive massive loss. Next up is Tom McCready, our captain. Tom McCready, probably lowest score I've would have given him so far. Is a is a player rating of five. Tom McCready, captain. You know he he tried out there. Thought he was one of our better players, but I think we we expect a bit more from our captain. If you think about it. Um, Obviously, it's just an opinion. It's all opinionated. This is, um, and I think Tom McCready gets a five because I think it's a, it's a 
we could have we expected a bit more from Makarathu, I feel like. Um, but yeah, so Tom McCready gets a five from me. Not the lowest score, by the way, the five. But there is someone who got a four. Um, yeah, we'll get on to that after. Next up is Owen Cushion. Owen Cushion gets a five from me. Um, reason he's not getting any higher than that is because he's not. He didn't have a great game. He was losing possession a lot of times. He was, he was sloppy on the ball. He was. I think that's just a whole 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 the whole team wasn't great against against Penabon. So um, yeah, it wasn't just him. That was. Um, not doing, not not had a great game, and um, apparently Owen Cushion played really well against Ballot. He played really well against Ponty from what I seen, and um, probably been his worst game in in a base base shirt at the moment. But you know, hopefully he can regain his form and um, go again against um, Aberystwyth on Friday um, at eight o'clock. Just a reminder, um, I will be going to that match. Next up, so I gave Owen Cushion a five. Next up is Sam Downey. Sam Downey, one of the higher rated players, I think. I give Sam Downey a seven. Look, he was tackling really well. He was gaining possession really well. He, he played really well second half and first half. And he was one of our better players on there. I, I, from what I've got here, he was my highest rated player in the starting 11, uh, from the starting 11. Um, there's only one other player that I've got that is a match rating of seven as well. So I think Sam Downey. He did really, he did really well, um, and he gets a seven from me. Next up is Dan Atkins, who's been playing on left wing rather than in the striker role. Uh, first half and the second half, he kind of went in that striker role, um, maybe alongside Udi, it might have been. Uh, so Dan Atkins, I give a five because um, he didn't really create anything first half and second half. I don't think he, he was a bit quiet as well, um, and yeah, I think. I think we need he needs to he needs to start creating a bit more. If we want to start winning games we need that we need the goals and that's to play we, we think and we hope can do it. And I don't think he did. Well uh, good enough, shall I say. But it's his debut. You know, we signed him ages ago, beginning of January, probably about nearly coming up to a month now. Um but he's he was suspended against uh, for the for the for two games for the last two games in the end, end of the last phase. So you know, on his debut, I don't think he did that bad, but, you know, maybe we expected a bit too much, but, you know, he goes, he goes again, or well, he goes again, we go again against um, Aberystwyth on Friday. Um, next up is Udi Akpan in the middle. Uh, I've gone for, Udi Akpan, I've gone for a match rating of four. Um, that's the one I was saying was is the lowest, Udi Akpan. He's getting a four from me due to the fact that I think it's too static again. I've said this every every week. He's too static in the box, and there's no movement. And then he gets bullied off the ball. Let's say he's, he's losing the ball too easily, and then he and then he stands there complaining, or just like this, just hands up, and it's just like just if you if if you're gonna react in that way, you know what you want to be reacting if you lose the ball is try and win it back track back, run back, you know, run. Uh, he needs to, and also another thing is when I mean he's static, he's static in the box. He's he's not running in, into the box. If we're putting in the ball, he's not running onto it. Um, it's just to, he's, he's like a statue sometimes. And um, that's what annoys me at times. And I love Udi, I really do. He's a great player. Um, it's mad to think he's our top goal scorer in all fairness. Um, but Udi Akpan gets a four, not his worst match rating, um, surprisingly, and not his best. So Udi Akpan four. Next up is from the uh, or lastly from the starting starting eleven is um, Jamie Cumming, who gets a match rating of five. Uh, due to the fact I don't think he did that anything great or anything poor, so I think he gets a standard five from me. The subs then we got we brought three people on. Uh, we're starting off with Matty Hill. Matty Hill gets a seven from me. He's the probably one of the better players of the of the game. I think all our subs that we brought on didn't have that bad a game. Um, with the time they had, I think Matty Hill obviously he scored a goal. He was creating chances. You could see what he was doing, and we looked a bit more attractive when he came on. I'd say we'd try and push him into the starting eleven for a, a game against Aber. So, um, Matty Hill gets a 7 from me. 
Next up is Tommy Creamer. Tommy Creamer, obviously we brought him on. Um, did not start, unfortunately. Uh, Tommy Creamer gets a six from me. Because I don't think he, he had that. I don't think he... I, I can't speak. I don't think he had a bad game, um, in all fairness to Tommy, um, when he came on. So, Tommy Creamer, six from me. And last... Well, not actually last, but not least. But last player... The last player we're going to do is Kai Owen. Kai Owen is going to get a six from me as well. Obviously, we had to go to a three at the back, and I think he was playing like right mid type role. Um, and then we had to switch it back to kind of a four at the back, and he must have been playing right back because he was still on the right hand side and he was a bit more defensive. And I think Kai did quite well in that in that in that job. He was asked to. Um, so Kai Owen six from me. Last but not least is Steve Evo. Steve Evo, what rating do I give him? This is going off the top of my head. I will probably give Steve a... 5? Yeah, but let's go with that. Steve Evo gets a 5 from me. Due to the fact, I think, at one point... There was a questionable decision, I thought. Um, well, it's an argue, argue, arguable decision. Um, in which he brought Dan Atkins off for Cream or Kai, one of them. Why would you, and then you wanna you you're two 0 down but you wanna you wanna score goals and you bring Dan Atkins off. Two midfielders came on. One midfielder came off, which was Downey. So either Kai or um Tommy came off for Downey and the other one came on for Dan. So you brought off you you brought in two midfielders and then you taken off an attacker and also it's the attacker that we think can score goals, whereas Udi's a lot more static. I would have brought Udi off. And kept Dan up front to see if he can create anything. Um, that's the only decision I really could go against. Um, didn't really have an issue with the lineup, uh, you know. Um, maybe Matty Hill could have uh, scrolls in in the in the you know, squeeze on. I don't know what what's the right word for it. Get in the team. There we go. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, we could beat Abba again again on on Friday. And get three points there. Um, sorry, I have knackered. I've I've been really busy these last two days, and we get we're having a video out tomorrow, which is my match reaction. Uh, not my match reaction. My match predictions for Abrostwith, which would usually be coming out on Thursday, but we're doing it to we do it Tuesdays before, and because the match is on Friday, it's coming out on Wednesday. It's Tuesday currently. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.